Hello everyone, I'm coming at you guys today with my review of Basketball Wives of Miami slash New York. Now, on this episode, this is the first episode of the season, Evelyn met up with her wedding planner and they discussed the upcoming wedding to Ocho Cinco. Jennifer, I mean, Evelyn said that she do not want the bridesmaids throwing shade at Jen. She said that um, she originally wanted her wedding to be at a resort, but she's subject to have it in uh, Florida because not everyone have a passport. Again, throwing shade at her friends and family. Um, so that's all that really happened with that. So she's planning her wedding with Ocho Cinco. Um, Jennifer and um, Susie, they met up at a restaurant. Now, during the commentary, Susie said that she was meeting up with Jennifer to get a little bit more information about New York because she's new to New York. Now, before Jennifer could complete her thought, Susie did what Susie always do, and that's being messy for no reason. So she brought up Eric Booty Lips, and immediately it's like it took Jennifer to a a place that she did not want to go back to. It's like she was reminded of all the things that Eric did to her. We can all, you know, recall last season when Eric took a drink and just threw it in Jennifer's face. So all of that is just coming back to her. So she said that she did not talk to Eric verbally. Um, she had not heard his voice. She said that he texted her and he emailed her and that's it. And she said she's moving forward. She left everything behind in Miami and she's starting fresh in New York. Susie said that she's doing the same thing. She left her apartment and the furniture in it. So clearly, Susie, I mean, something is wrong with Susie. Susie came from a mental institution and of course she couldn't take a padded room with her. Now, from there, they update one another on the rest of the girls. And then Susie, again, being messy for no reason, brought up Royce, telling Jennifer that she and Royce need to be friends, mend their friendship. And Jennifer is not interested. She do not have the desire of becoming friends with Royce whatsoever. So that was that. Um, Royce and Keisha, they met up. And let me just give you guys a briefing on Keisha. Keisha sounds like a hillbilly. That's just what she sounds like, a hillbilly. Her edges, her edges are all knotted up and bunched up together. They look like they're at a repass uh, because one of their fellow hair strands departed from her scalp because it was dehydrated. Because looking at her hair is severely dehydrated. She need a good hot oil treatment. She need a good deep conditioner. Um... She need Dr. Miracle. Her hair is a hot mess. It's the murder she wrote. Um, so she's like the ex-fiance of Richard Jefferson. Um, if I remember correctly, he's the one that dumped his fiance on their wedding day via email. So that was all kinds of messed up. So I don't know why she's on the show. In fact, I don't know why all these girls are on this show because none of them are wives. If they are wives, they're going through a very nasty divorce. Other than that, they're just someone that's been with athletes. That's it. So I don't know if this is some form of Sunbeam emergency care program. I don't know. Really, I don't. Um, Keisha asked Royce her opinion about the girls and what she thought about them. And then Royce said she was keeping her mouth shut. That is for her to discover. And I don't blame Royce. I would have told her the same thing as well. Now, Royce and Susie, they met up. Now, personally, I think this episode, Royce really stepped her game up with her fashion. You know, season one, season two, season three, we have witnessed her fashion failures. We have witnessed her rocking J-Lo-inspired jumpsuits to onesies. Now, when she went to meet Susie at this cafe or whatever it was, she came up in there with a jacket that looked like she got it straight from Sears in the girls' department. It was a seafoam green or a mint green jacket with white, furry, fuzzy stuff around the hood and the wrist in the front of the jacket. And don't get me started with Miss Susie. Susie is rocking her infamous trailer park side part. I don't care how Susie style her hair, that part will always remain because her hair is trained for that hairstyle. 
So she had her hair finger combed in a high ponytail, and you know her hair is thin. Of course, she had the part. 75% um, of her bang was finger swooped to the side, and the remainder 25% was swooped to the other side. She had some long, black, dangly earrings. I think it had a bunch of crosses and... Um, it kind of rock starish like kind of gothic look. I don't know. But she was giving me full-fledged Illuminati. Um, Susie, again, being messy for no reason. And we call trolls like that trial and error trolls, okay? She fed Royce all kinds of lies and confusion. She told Royce that Jennifer told her that she is willing to mend their friendship. A friendship that never took place in the first place. So, I don't know if Susie has some imaginary friends residing in her dome named Jennifer, but Jennifer, the Jennifer that we think she's talking about, did not say anything like that in the first 10 minutes of this episode. So, I would like for Susie's guardian or Susie's power of attorney to go onto the social security website and fill out an application for Susie. Susie needs to get her payments. She deserves her payments. She is disabled. It is not a physical disability. It is a mental disability. I don't know if her parents are actually brother and sister, but Susie, Susie ain't right at all. She's a trial and error troll, feeding all kinds of lies and confusion. I don't know if VH1 is like an equal opportunity employer, but I mean, Susie really need to stop the foolishness. Um, since we're on Susie, Susie met with Kenya and Keisha and Royce at a restaurant and Susie was giving them all kinds of sexual tips. Now y'all remember the show, I don't know if it still come on, but I know that it used to come on Oxygen. It was this old lady giving sex tips. Her name was Sue Johansson. I think it was called Talk Sex with Sue. She was giving that type of advice to these women in a restaurant over food showing them how to massage a penis showing them how to give a blow job and all this type of stuff susan needs to stop the foolishness like asap jennifer met um kenya and keisha and it seemed like she was doing an interview with them to see which one is going to be her next sidekick um kenya met was who she met i think she met royce yeah she met royce and i think it was susan or it was keisha but Kenya told Royce that she needed some dancers because you know Royce has her own dance uh, production company. And because um, Kenya is like this aspiring singer, so she's about to shoot this video. Let's just get on Kenya's hair, okay? Kenya, her hair is Remy, okay? It's Indian Remy. Now, she probably bought this hair with the assumption that this was virgin Indian Remy hair. But from the looks of this hair... It is obvious that this hair came from a tramp. It did not come from a virgin. Her hair is, I don't know, it looked like it could be a sew-in, and it looked like it's sewed in into a cone. So it's like two or three separate tracks, you know, sewed in into a cone in a continuous motion and um, a homemade um, closure. Now, I'm not saying anything is wrong with a homemade, a homemade closure because, I mean, people that put weave in their head, you know, make closures. But this is an obvious handmade closure. It is not flattened with a flat iron. It's just combed and just put at the top, and that is it. Her hair, I mean, like I said, it did not come from a virgin. It came from a tramp. Um... Now, the two girls, they had their opinions about um, Jennifer. Um, Keisha, she said that uh, Jennifer is bougie, and Jennifer seemed like she was shocked and appalled that someone called her bougie. So I'm like, for real, you missed that memo. Um, Tammy, she met with Keisha. She asked Keisha if she was black or white. Keisha says she's mixed with black and white. So we got some info on her. Um, as far as Tammy, it seems like Tammy is trying to get the dirt for us this season. Um, I really appreciate her for that. Um, Mika, she is not on this season at all. Um, but at the end of the day, at the end of this episode, just a long story short, everyone got 
Jennifer and Evelyn together to try to mend their friendship. And it just was an epic fail. Um, Evelyn said that she's mad at Jennifer because she read on Jennifer's blog um, some bad things that she said about Ocho Cinco or her relationship with Ocho Cinco. Jennifer said that she did not write it. Her publicist wrote that. Evelyn went back and told her what well, asked her. You don't, you know, so you're telling me you don't approve your postings. So Jennifer was like, she was sipping on champagne on a yacht somewhere. She did not do it. Oh, girl, please. Lies and confusions. Girl, iPads are mobile. Okay. Um, so she's sitting up there. Um, saying this and that about the publicist, the publicist did this, the publicist did that. And then at one point, Jennifer just looked like she was about to tear up and cry and her voice just got all kinds of shaky. Um, she was giving us rich from love and hip hop. That's just what she was giving us. Her mouth started quivering. Her nose got pink. Snot was just coming from her nose. Her eyes were all pink and all that. She's really hurt about her friendship with Evelyn being on the rocks. I mean, I really kind of felt sorry for Jennifer because Jennifer is not tough. She's not a thug. She can't hold her own at all. Um, her rebuttals are weak. Um, Evelyn told Jennifer, you know, she needs to take her crocodile tears and go to her publicist. Susie didn't say anything. Tammy said to Evelyn that she was mean. Of course, Pimp Shawnee didn't say anything because she was just looking back and forward, hoping that this argument will boost up the ratings so she can collect a bigger paycheck. But that's all that really happened on this episode of Basketball Wives. I hope I am not forgetting anything at all but that's just what i remember from this episode because i mean i'm doing this review like all kinds of late so um until the next review guys bye